Hi all, I heard a request today for having a Zoom based whiteboard that had real time uh, subtitles underneath it. And although Zoom does not have this functionality natively in its own whiteboard, there are ways in which you can combine Zoom's annotation features with other tools that do have real time subtitling. And I'm going to show you how to do that with PowerPoint today, although you could come up with your own recipes for doing something similar using other combinations of tools. So if you open up PowerPoint inside um, a computer exporting a desktop with Zoom, then what you can do is uh, joining with another uh, a machine like a tablet. And so that's what I've actually joined my Zoom room twice. So I've got my main Zoom room, which is where this PowerPoint is being held. And I have not actually exported my audio or my video. I'm only exporting the shared screen from that main room. And then I join with my tablet. And my tablet is just viewing the screen exported from my desktop. My audio is tied to my tablet, so um, everything is going on um, on my tablet. The only thing my desktop is exporting is this PowerPoint. And that allows me to then, inside PowerPoint, start a PowerPoint presentation like this one here. And then I can turn on the real-time subtitles, which is this button right down here that a lot of people may not be familiar with. And once that started, then it will use the microphone on my desktop machine and it will then start subtitling using what it recognizes from that microphone. And so now I've got a blank canvas up here from a blank PowerPoint presentation and subtitles that are being filled in underneath the canvas down here. On my tablet, which is viewing this, if I have Zoom annotations enabled, which I think come enabled by default, and if yours aren't enabled, you can go into your Zoom settings, and unfortunately you have to go all the way to the web settings on Zoom, but you go to the advanced Zoom settings for your Zoom rooms, and you can make sure that annotations are turned on. You have to be a little careful because anyone in the room can do those annotations. But so long as you're willing to take that risk, you turn them on, and then from the tablet, if I tap on the screen, I see an annotation bar come down, uh, down the, on the left-hand side. There's a little uh, pencil icon or pen icon that can tap on, and it gives me a bunch of annotation options. And so now I can start writing directly on the screen. So I can say do Zoom annotations on PowerPoint. And so you can see I'm actually writing in Zoom with Zoom annotations, but it just, it PowerPoint is providing me a white background, which allows me to do this whiteboard, and PowerPoint is adding the subtitles that are showing up along the bottom. If I want to go to a new uh, whiteboard, a clear whiteboard, it's just like being in a classroom. Rather than shifting to a new page, I can go in the annotation tool and hit clear, or I can manually erase. And so I could go through here and just start erasing. And then that gives my students some time to keep up as I'm going through and erasing different things. Or I can clear, I can hit the little trash can and clear the whole thing and then start with a new set of annotations and I can do all the things that you hope you could do inside Zoom annotations. So I can change my pen width, I can change my color, I can draw shapes, um, and so on. I can do highlighting. So there's highlighting here. And there you have it. So that's basically, you know, in a nutshell, how to implement Zoom annotations inside PowerPoint with subtitles and I hope that's helpful.